Hi everyone and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. Today I'm trying a Dollar Tree item. I hadn't tried one of those in a little bit. And uh, it's a Fast Bites breaded chicken sandwich. They sell a lot of these and they sell a lot of the that uh, barbecue one that's kind of like a McRib. They sell a lot of those too. And I, I, But I haven't tried this one. So let's see how it stacks up. What's wrong for you? All right. If you eat the whole thing, it's 390 calories. Joy and I are going to split this. Total fat, 15 grams is 19%. Three and a half grams of saturated fat is 18%. 15 milligrams of cholesterol is 5%. 560 milligrams of sodium is 24%. I expected it to be more than that. 48 grams of carbs is 17%. 3 grams of fiber is 11% and 6%, I mean, 6 grams of total sugars and 5 gram added is 10%. Uh, it's got 14 grams of protein, that's 22%. It's got 2% of vitamin D, 4% of calcium, 20% of iron, I'm surprised at that, wow, and 6% of potassium. So, this results heat from frozen Microwave, it just says microwave sandwich. Okay, I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to put, I can't just eat this plain. I'll be able to tell what it still tastes like. I'm going to put a, a little bit of mayonnaise and a couple pickles, kind of like a Popeye's or something. So, I'll be right back. Okay, here it is right here. It smells pretty good. I guess, like I said, pickles. And mayonnaise on it a little bit too much right there spilled over the side I wish the chicken patty was crisp. You'd have to bake it or something to get it like that. It's pretty good. Well, without the pickles and mayonnaise on it, it would be a little bland. The breading doesn't seem to be seasoned very well, or very much. But you can always fix it up. You can put some lettuce and tomato on there if you wanted to, some onion or whatever. It's not bland, it just doesn't seem to have a, a, a lot of flavor. The chicken. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna give Joy this half. Alrighty. Um, like I said, it's pretty good. If you fix it up, I don't know if I if I would have eaten it without anything on it. I think I would have thought it was even even more bland than it is. Um, it does it just doesn't have you know the flavor of of, a, of of one from a like Popeyes or anything like that. But you know, taking into consideration, it was only a dollar too. <coughs> 
course, that's getting ready to go up at Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'd pay a dollar twenty-five. Joy said she would for it. Um, so I mean, it's pretty good, but I gotta consider also the nutrition facts. A lot of calories for one, and the the fat is not way over, but you know you're gonna have some more fat the rest of the day than anything, you know. Sodium, 24%, 17% of your carbs. Does give you 22% of protein. That's that's good, 14 grams, and 20% of iron. So, all things considered, I think I'll give it a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5, and that's that's pretty good. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, even at a dollar twenty-five, I mean, elsewhere, I think uh, I don't know if they have this same one at Kroger or not. I think I've seen it somewhere else, and it's a little bit more than a dollar. Um, I think, um, or maybe it's a different one I saw at Kroger's, a different brand or something. But um, but you know, it's it's pretty good. I mean, I would I buy it again? If we couldn't think of anything else to eat one night, or just for lunch maybe, I might, and they've got a grilled one, a grilled one with no breading. Um, seems like Logan's tried that before, but I have never tried it, so it might be an alternative. If it, maybe the grilled one would have a little more taste than the patty. I'm not for sure, but maybe I'll get one of those and try it. And sometimes they have some other type sandwiches in there too I don't know if they've got a burger though I don't think I've seen a burger um, I'd like to try that if they did but um, you know a Dollar Tree item and you could you could make a meal out of it I mean if you had some something with it, you could fix some fries with it or or a potato salad with it some slaw um, you know you, you could make a meal out of it fairly cheap. It'd be right now. It, they're fixing to go up at our Dollar Tree on the twenty-first. Um, but for three dollars, that would be a decent price, and you wouldn't have to spend much more on some fries to have a a, a quick meal. If you you know, if I was tired and had a rough day and stuff, and we had some, I probably would fix them. You know, but I try not to do that very often. Just fix something quick like that. I try to fix this a a pretty good meal as y'all see my my shorts every night pretty much um, right now I've got um, a while back I made some soup with a dollar store gourmet uh, video uh, some vegetable soup and I had froze the rest of it and I let it thaw out the other day and it, it was finally thawed out and I put it in the crock pot and added you know because it was it I could have made enough for a meal, but I wanted to make it better and different. So I put in a thing of pre-cooked, um, it's brown rice and quinoa. I put it in there. Actually, I was going to put basmati, basmati, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I was going to put that rice in there, but I opened the wrong package. So we got brown rice with quinoa in the soup. And that's probably, I know that's better for you. And uh, way better, as a matter of fact. And... Uh, the rest of the ribs that we had that I cooked for the Super Bowl, I cut the meat up into little pieces, like little strips or squares, like, and uh, I put it in there. I put another can of diced tomatoes with celery and peppers and stuff in it. I put another can of tomato sauce in it. I put a can of uh, chicken broth in it. Kind of made it like a new soup. And I put a couple cans. We've got lots of canned food, uh, I mean vegetables, lots of them. So I need to start using some of them. I, I rotated them all and everything like that, but they're getting some of the ones on the outside, you know, the, have the, are getting a close date and stuff. So I used two cans of potatoes, whole potatoes, and cut the biggest ones up. I put that in there and just made it into like a new, new soup. I had to put a little water in it. So it's in the crock pot, um, simmering away for tonight. So. We're gonna have some cornbread with it too. So it'll be a good meal. And now there's actually gonna be probably enough for another meal. 
uh, since I added all that to it, so like probably day after tomorrow, I don't like to have the same thing two nights in a row, but probably day after tomorrow we'll have it again with some cornbread again or something. Um, that's made that, I've made that really, that'll be four meals I made out of that one meal by, by adding to it the, the second time around. No, that'd be three. We only ate it, yeah, that'd be three. I made it, made it, we ate it, then I froze it. Now I made it again, and then it'll have, yeah, three times, three times out of it. So that's not bad. I think it only, I probably don't even have $10 in everything I put in it all together from the beginning. So that's great. Three meals, 333 or something like that per meal, about a dollar and 10 cents a serving. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this taste test with Mike of this breaded chicken sandwich from... Dollar Tree. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you later on. God bless.